Welcome to practice, everyone. So this is a 30 minute sequence for grounding and calming. Okay, so perfect if you feel like you need something more restorative, if you're feeling anxious, stressed, tired, exhausted, and you just need to treat yourself to a, a slower, more gentle, restorative, calming, grounding, healing practice, okay? So we'll start with uh, pranayama, okay? And we'll do Surya Bedana and Chandra Bedana, which are nostril breaths, okay? We're gonna do this in knee pile or cross-legged, okay? So if you wanna take knee pile, then place the right knee on top of the left, and your heels are tucked by your hip bones. Okay. You can sit on the ground or sit on a prop if that's more comfortable. And if knee pile is uncomfortable, whatever you're sitting on, then come back to a cross-legged seated position. Okay. Four, Surya Bedna. Bring the right hand up in front of the face and rest the first and second fingers lightly in between the eyebrows. Use your ring finger to close the left nostril and inhale through the right nostril for up to 10. Close both nostrils, hold the breath in. Exhale through left for 10. And repeat, inhale through right. Close both nostrils, hold the breath in. Exhale left. Do four more rounds from right to left. Letting the breath flow as smoothly, as effortlessly as possible. Keep the forehead relaxed, the jaw soft, fingers resting lightly between the eyebrows. Once you finish your four rounds, close the eyes and take a few deep breaths. Soften shoulders down.
means change sides. Okay, so if you're in cross-legged, still change the cross of the legs to balance it out. Those of you taking knee pile, left knee on top. Okay, and we're changing direction here. So inhaling through left and exhaling through right. Okay, so left hand up in front of the face. First and second fingers lightly resting between the eyebrows. Ring finger to close the right nostril and slowly inhale through left. When full, close both nostrils, hold the breath in. Listen to what's moving inside, sense into what's moving inside. Slowly exhale through right. Five more rounds from left to right. This type of pranayama, excellent for training the mind, focusing the mind, helping to Quiet in the mind. It's very soothing for the nervous system. Once you finish your round, close the eyes, take a few deep feeling breaths, noticing what you're experiencing right now. to a cross-legged seated position, spinal twist. Oh. Inhale, reach up, twisting to the right. Exhale, twist. Oh. Keeping that smoothness to the flow of your breath. Okay. Moving into Ujjayi breath now. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Changing sides. Inhale to center, raise the arms. 
exhale, twisting to the left. Feel for creating space and length on the inhale. Soften into that space as you twist deeper on the exhale. So this harmony between breath and movement. back to center. Bring the feet together into Baddha Konasana for a forward fold. Okay. Soles of the feet pressing actively together, hands on the floor and you can have upper arms bracing against the shins here. Okay. As you inhale, pull the ribs forward, lengthen the torso. Exhale, fold, chin to chest, folding to wherever you get to. Inhaling till full. Exhaling till completely empty. With the exhale, seeing if it's possible to soften deeper into the forward fold. What can you let go of? What's holding you back? Come on up, ah, sitting up with an inhale. All right. Seated side bend with one leg straight in a few arm positions. Okay. Extend the left leg in front of you. Sole of the right foot presses against the inner thigh. Flex left foot up towards the sky and keep left leg pressing down into the ground so this quadricep is engaged. Left arm rests on the floor to the inside of the front leg and we'll start with neck release okay reach right arm back behind you palm of the hand faces down so create space in the abdomen by lengthening the ribs lengthening the torso away from the pelvis Keep rolling right side of the chest, up and back. Then reach right arm away from the neck. And how much more steadiness and ease can you bring to the flow of your breath? using your ujjayi breath to help you navigate the challenges of each pose, the intensity of each pose. Mm. 
chest opener. Okay, turn the right hand so the thumb points up. And next, inhale, raise the right arm, stopping just before vertical. Keep that left foot flexed, left leg pressing down. Arm overhead, right arm over right ear, palm faces down towards the ground. Reach through the right arm, spread open fingers of right hand. Take the chest so the torso points over the left thigh, hands either side of the left leg. Inhale, pull the ribs forward. Exhale, fold, chin to chest. Slow down the breath. Notice how when you slow down the breath, it instantly soothes and calms your experience of the pose. Good. And slowly sit up. Chin comes up last. Change legs. Ah, starting with neck release, okay, and aiming to keep this right foot flexed and the right leg pressing down for each breath in each arm position, all right, so starting with neck release, left arm reaches back. Hmm. So Ujjayi breath helps to ground and center us in our practice by it breaks the pattern of habitual and instinctive struggle. And the way that we approach a yoga pose imitates the way that we approach life and in life we you know we we're designed to survive and you know we have to struggle sometimes so we have these instinctive, habitual reactions, these patterns around struggle. And they appear in your practice. So the magic of Ujjayi breath is it teaches us to stay calm, to stay present, to navigate uncomfortable feelings or feelings of resistance and stay grounded and stay centered so we can face and welcome that experience, whatever it is, without running away. Chest opener. Turn the left hand so the thumb points up and raise the left arm. So when we learn to cultivate that presence and awareness and groundedness in our practice, we take that out into our day-to-day -day lives. Okay? So when we're faced with uncomfortable emotions or difficult circumstances, we don't run away. Okay? We can face it and make wise choices handle whatever life has to throw at us with integrity okay, from a place that is grounded and centered. Arm overhead. Ah, 
Keep that right foot flexed. So even though Ujjayi is a steady, easy, deep breath, it is a courageous breath. It's a warrior's breath because it's designed to help us navigate consciously discomfort, challenges, resistance, breaking free from old patterns, creating space for something new to emerge, something new to arise. chest over the thigh, hands either side of the front leg, inhale, pull ribs forward, exhale, fold. your way onto hands and knees and push back for downward facing dog all right from down dog walk walk out your dog okay, bend one knee then the other and a movement in the hips and pelvis and holding down dog. Soften back of neck, soften jaw. Hands pressing actively, firmly into the ground. And lengthen the torso, send sit bones skywards. Lower the knees down, wide on the mat, big toes touching, and sit back for child's pose. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Pigeon. Okay. Inhale, float the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left leg forward. Okay. The knee is wide on the mat. Right leg goes straight back behind you. Okay, sink the hips back. Okay, you can always place a prop under the left thigh for support to keep the hips level. Walk the hands forward, lowering into pigeon. And navigate pigeon one breath at a time. Ujjayi breath. That courageous, steady breath, navigating the sensations and whatever arises.
Stay with it one breath at a time. Seeing where it's possible to soften and let go on the exhale. Come on out, push back to downward facing dog and walk out your dog again for the other side. Inhale, float right leg up, exhale, bring right leg forwards for pigeon. Pigeon. Hey, the magic, the key to pigeon is committing to stillness and resisting the urge to distract yourself by fidgeting and readjusting. Being in the stillness. In pigeon, that stillness can feel pretty intense. Trust your breath. And trust that your body knows what to do. From Pigeon, make your way back to Down Dog. And bend one knee, then the other, walk out your dog again. And then eyes forward, jump or step your feet between the hands. Come to sit down. Oh, and lie back. Happy baby, taking hold of the outside edges of the feet, point soles of the feet up towards the sky. Maybe gently rocking from side to side. release, lie back for a brief Shavasana. Arms by your side, palms face up, close the eyes.
deepen your breath, move fingers and toes, wrists, ankles, and hug your knees to your chest. And roll over to your right hand side. Come on up to seated. Bring the hands together at the heart, close the eyes. Namaste.